Hello everybody and welcome to the third video about the new exploration sites part of the fourth expansion EVE Online in 2021. This is about the HS Secure Transfer Facility and uh, let's dive right in. The site itself can be scanned down in low sec as well as wormhole space and presents itself as a level 3 data site. On a warp in, you will be presented with an Aegis fleet which is protecting the Aegis gate control hub, that is a data hack you will have to perform. In order to do so, you will need to remove the battleship because that one jams, which obviously is very annoying when you try to lock other things. So remove the battleship. Kinetic damage here uh, works best. Also in the first room, the damage to tank seems to consistently be EM and thermal, unless the heavy gun stars are active, which is the case if you have a negative Edencom standing, and in that case I uh, highly suggest you do not run the site. The heavy gun stars are doing massive amounts of damage. Shooting anything uh, to completion in uh, this site will have you get negative standings towards Edencom. Killing that battleship there in the first room will cost you 0.0. 002 standing towards Edencom. Also, uh, normally the cruisers as well as the frigates will close in on you. Cruisers applying warp disruption as well as the frigates which will do webbing. Uh, in some cases, also in this uh, take here, the other enemies other than the battleship will just pull range and therefore not bother you with Eivor at some point. So you can basically ignore them other than, well, tanking the uh, incoming damage there. Once the battleship is down, you can start hacking the data container here, which will indicate which gate you can take. There are three acceleration gates, they are all active. From what I understand though is if you use a gate without knowing which one to to use you will end up in a really bad situation and probably get blown up. So hack the data container here and uh, chat will tell you which gate to take. I was using a mobile depot here to refit from my prop mod to a data hacking tool um, plus, later in the site, there will be a few more refits to company modules which are required to progress the site. In my, my case here, the gate was a B for me, I had to take. Um, while we are approaching that gate after the refit, I want to mention the tank requirements in here. First room seems to be 1000 DHP a second uh, as a sweet spot. Later on in uh, room number two, you might have to go up to 1500 EHP a second across the board. I haven't seen any EM damage happening in this site, but I believe that only depends on what kind of battleship spawns on you um, with the defender group in, in stage number two, so better be prepared.
So after the data hack, I was refitting to a micro warp drive in order to get to the gate quickly, as well as uh, being able to cross another 80 kilometers in the second stage. There will be no rats initially other than the Edencom H's secure transfer barge, which you have to kill in order to progress the site. Uh, the barge is shielded by, well, a shield, so you can't lock it up initially, but there are two mechanisms which allow you to remove the shield. You can either shoot the logistics center power generator, or you can go and hack the logistics center shield projector. I personally prefer to hack because shooting the power generator has a roughly 0.01 penalty, um, standing penalty towards Edencom if you uh, hit that one. Once I was at zero to the hacking destination, I dropped my mobile depot here again in order to refit to a data analyzer. Once uh, the data hack is completed, you will have to pin down the uh, transfer barge, though it is a bowhead, and you will need three points, so a faction scram will do the trick. Otherwise, it will warp off and the site is failed. Um, a successful completion of the site will give you some loot uh, dropped from the bowhead as well as escalate into the fourth of the exploration sites that came in recently. Once uh, you start attacking uh, the barge, there will be a response fleet joining you. And uh, they do feature at least one battleship, which does explosive damage and a pretty heavy one. Make sure to bring at least 1500 EHP a second for uh, this room and maybe do not skip a prop mod while killing uh, the bowhead here to sort of mitigate mitigate some of the of the damage uh, coming in you will see i'll even have to take a booster here in order to get to 1.5 ehp a second the damage to shoot against the bowhead here is em to get uh, to the bottom of the ship as fast as possible.
once the bowhead dies, you will get the escalation notification as well as the response fleet will warp away and you can loot in peace. The loot itself appears to be something similar to blue loot from the sleepers. This one here is black, but my guess is you will sell these to NPCs. Eventually the escalation spawned um, by this site, interestingly, runs two months. So you have two months time to go and uh, complete that escalation, which I guess also just spawns somewhere nearby in low sec. If you trigger this in a wormhole, my guess is the escalation will be in the wormhole itself. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. That's how I did run the site. If you have any suggestions or additions to what uh, we found out, let us know in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.